I was always off in other worlds. Okay. That one too? Life was good. I had great parents, plenty of books, a somewhat overactive imagination, and enough curiosity to cause a severe global cat shortage. Socializing was kind of difficult for me. I didn't have that many friends, but the ones that I had meant a lot. Though it starts as the story of a kid dying of cancer, the documentary turns around and it becomes the story of the friend, the best friend, that deals with the suffering. And that change in perspective and his ability to cope with it through religion and gaming allows him to build two parallel lives and be able to find meaning in either and one. And this was a beautiful uh, poetic way of showcasing what took years um, uh, to heal and, and to share that trauma that was so knitly woven into what your life became. Um, it was very, it was a very vulnerable piece. And I just want to give you mention that that is not everyone is able to do that. So bravo on you. That was very brave. And I, I found myself tearing up at the end. So <laughs> good job. My favorite part of this film was the, the very personal touch that the film had. It was very intimate. Um, I think the use of, of real photos, um, like home video footage, all of that was great. Definitely made you feel what the director is going through as well. The story he's going through, his his journey. Um, I thought that was great. Yeah. I could also definitely see this journey as a narrative film as well. Uh, sweet, bittersweet in a way. Um, the filmmakers essentially created a tribute uh, to a lost friend. Um, as well as sort of um, on-screen therapy for themselves, which I'm normally not a fan of, but I thought this one did a good job at striking a balance between sort of, you know, objective things that we can all kind of relate to and, and personal touches and uh, just kept me interested. And, uh, you know, anyone who's ever lost anyone um, and has had that feeling of the, the world isn't the same anymore, I think would... Uh, really find relevance in this one. Tears brought to my eyes in so many different levels, um, goosebumps, and just amazing to see, um, heartbreaking too, but the end of it, it was, the true story was amazing to watch. It was very well done in terms of the, um, the stills and the the pacing of the images along with the um, voiceover narration and the overall arc of um, the man's journey. I thought at first I would miss the music, but it was just a voiceover and I think that was a smart choice um, because it's a very personal story. I thought this was a really in unique, interesting story and I enjoyed it. This one put you on the narrator's emotional journey as he spoke with soft words and he used powerful, eloquent phrases like, the child I had been grew as dead as David. I like the balance of the older photos with the more modern shots as well. The sound was so, so soothing. Supposed to be right, the story was, there were so many ups and downs, there were so many emotions, but the, that singularity of the voice was very comforting. I liked kind of how lo-fi production it was. Kind mm -hmm. of quirky. Gave it mm. this uh, unique style. Probably one of my favorites of Act One. The technical uh, aspects of the of the film I really loved was, you know, there was a few phrases where um, talks about how David started. He began to look weaker, more strained, and I liked how the the, the color pixelated um, image of him faded, changed, morphed from color to black and white. Um, I loved how the candles were in focus, out of focus, back in focus, as, uh, as the narrator talks about his struggle with, with the church religion, you know, him coming away from it, going back to it. That was really cool how that was put well, together. To me, it was a really interesting philosophical take on life and suffering and, and what it takes and what it, what it takes to get through it. And it's something 
I thought was very, very creative. I thought the, you know, the fact that there was no music in the film really, you know, really added to that. Um, really well done film, really well communicated. That was one of the other things too. The communication of the message was very clear. Um, and it just, I was riveted through the whole thing um, from, from start to finish.